Hey everybody, so this is my newest puzzle, and this is something I'm calling the square 180, for reasons I'll explain in just a little bit. But I think this thing looks really interesting. Again, obviously another square 1 mod. Same as the other ones, it was built from a Moyu Weilong square 1. And basically, what I did here is, if you just take the slice layer and turn it 180 degrees, like this, I started with this shape of puzzle, and then I flattened the edges here to make it square using this as the axis, basically. So, if you can see the, the similarity between how the edges and corners are laid out, you can see how there's two small edges next to each other on this one, which you don't have in the normal solved state of a square one. And the main idea behind building this puzzle was to have a square one where your middle slice layer was actually in line with the sides of the puzzle, not shifted off to the side like it normally is. Which means that when you turn on that layer 180 degrees, it actually does not shape shift at all. This middle layer, obviously you can tell because of the colors that it's off, but when you do that, it actually doesn't change shape. And something else I find interesting about this puzzle is this one face in particular, it kind of reminds me of another type of puzzle called a wall cube. At least I think that's what it's called. It's a type of bandage mod that other people do. And just that one face is like that. Obviously the green face opposite is much more simple. But this face kind of reminds me of that type of puzzle. Now I haven't actually solved this thing yet. But what I'm guessing is because of the way it's laid out and this side is 180 degrees opposite uh, or 180 degrees off from what it normally is. If you want to use the same square one standard strategy, you would have to actually solve it like this where this is your color scheme because of the way you put in the corners and edges, I guess you can call them. It's normally in this layout where it alternates on obviously in the top and bottom, that's how you solve it. So you could use the same strategy just with this color scheme or it might be interesting, it might be slightly different to actually solve it like this where you get each face this way. And as usual, I'll give this thing a full scramble. So I think that's a pretty good scramble. And I actually thought this would happen where it doesn't look that different actually from a normal scrambled square one. I mean, you can tell that the actual stickers are slightly different shape, but compared with my last two square one mods, this one actually is pretty close to the original. Although you can tell on this middle layer how that will never shape shift. It's always gonna be square. So with the two scrambled cubes side by side here, you can tell how they're really not that different, obviously, minus the middle layer. So just to compare them, here's all the scrambled square one mods, and these are actually the only three I've ever done of these. And it's kind of interesting how they've actually gotten smaller as I've progressed through them. With this new square 180 puzzle, it's more or less the same size as the square one I started with, where compared with my square one mirror blocks, and like I said, all three of these puzzles were modified from the same type of cube, I really had to extend it up significantly. So that about wraps it up. Feel free to share this video if you thought it was interesting at all. And keep an eye out for next Monday, where I'll be modding a cube that's actually even more obscure than the square one. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.